So in one of my previous videos, I received a comment to take a look at watches for young business professionals. And I tried to match that up with what I'm wearing today and probably should have shaved first before doing so, but then I'd end up looking like a junior high student and nobody would take advice about this particular topic from somebody that looked that young. So just to avoid all that, I decided to keep it. But guys, let's jump into the video. All right, so young business professional. I'm just gonna say for definition here that that's somebody between recent grad and say like 30 years old. So a little bit of fluctuation here. I imagine them being somebody that has primarily a desk job or in an office type setting. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a dress heavy type of list. And on top of that, I'm gonna be looking at different price points because there's a lot of different income levels of people of those different age ranges. So wanna try to be flexible here in providing great options for everybody. All right, now let's first start off with a affordable piece, the Orient Bambino. For this watch, you're looking a lot of different versions here. For the price point, $100 to $200, case size of 40.5 millimeters, powered by an automatic orient movement depending on the actual generation and version that you go for, uh, water resistant up to 30 meters, and I really loved my Orient Bambino. It was a generation two version two featuring the Roman numerals. But say you wanna do something different. There's a lot of different designs. You can go for the generation five with the Arabic numerals. You could go with the sub seconds Orient Bambino, or you could also go with the generation two version version three, which has more of a Bauhaus type of design with its minimalist aesthetic. So a lot of different options here and a great piece that can't be overlooked in this range. Now for our next watch, we have the Bulova Precisionist. And this is a particular model from the Precisionist line that has a more dressy aesthetic. So price point here, 180 to $280, case size of 43 millimeters, powered by a high performance quartz movement, water resistant up to 30 meters as well. And really the standout thing here is the quartz movement. This one comes with a sweeping seconds hand. It's an incredibly accurate movement as well, even more than a standard quartz movement, as this is stated to be accurate up to plus to minus 10 seconds every year by Bulova. And really what leads to that is the quartz and how it is actually carved out within the actual watch itself. So most traditional quartz movements are going to come with a two-pronged quartz crystal, which is very, very small within the watch. It's going to be charged, cause that reverse piezoelectric effect, which are gonna cause different vibrations. This particular Bulova watch is vibrating eight times more than a traditional quartz, leading to that high accuracy. So a really interesting find in this line of the Precisionist, and I think it's a good looking watch as well. So next up we have the Timex Marlin. And I want to look at the Timex Marlin automatic. In 2017, Timex reissued the Timex Marlin hand winding watch. Uh, those coming with a 34 millimeter case. And I've done a review on the Timex Marlin blackout edition with Todd Snyder. That was a partnership between the two brands and I uh, really enjoyed that watch, but we're going to be looking instead at the Timex Marlin automatic. So these are new releases as of fall 2018. 18, and I think they fall a nice fine line between being able to be dressed up and also be able to be worn casually. So they come in with a price point of $250, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic movement. This is a Chinese-based movement, uh, so you are maybe paying a little bit more than probably what you essentially are getting for the movement inside of it, but really cool to be seeing an automatic movement from Timex, and then also has a water resistance of 30 meters. I've seen pretty good reviews about these watches uh, so far. I probably should get my hand on one very soon and uh, do a close or deep dive. But if it's anything like the Marlin uh, reissue that we got last year, uh, I think this is a home run for Timex. So what do you think of the choices so far, guys? If you like them, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's a great indicator for me uh, that I am doing a good job. Also subscribe, hit the bell icon if you're new here. I think one of the most overlooked things that watch enthusiasts do is they don't invest in good watch straps. And on my website, I have some of the best watch straps for the money. I put them up against any other straps in this price range. But let's get back into the list. Now we have our first Swiss watch appearance on the list and we have the Tissot every time Swissmatic. So I feel like I mentioned this watch a pretty good amount on the channel and I think it's for good reason. This watch is coming in with a price point between $200 and $400. So I recently saw one of these on sale on Tissot's website for $200, which is really a good deal for this watch. Case size of 40 millimeters powered by an automatic C15 111 movement. So the base caliber there is the System 51, water resistant up to 30 meters. This watch comes with a sapphire crystal and of course it's Swiss made. And I really love just the minimalist style. I think it really exudes that young, look uh, that some business professional would have and I think would look really great on a young guy's wrist. So when I asked the Facebook group about just recommendations for this video, one of the frequent players was Hamilton. And when I was looking at all the Hamilton watches, there's so many to choose from, particular here for young professionals. And I decided to go for a watch that I think could be used for pretty much every scenario, which is the Hamilton Khaki Field Automatic. The price point here, $500 to $750. Case sizes, you have a few different options, 38, 42, and 44. This is powered by an automatic H10 movement that 
that is an ETA based movement and is water resistant up to 100 meters. It comes with a sapphire crystal. I think if you had to pick the best everyday watch under $1,000 say, this would be right there, maybe the top of the list for that matter. So we absolutely have to look at Seiko here. And I know you can mention the Seiko cocktail time as well as the Seiko Sarb line, but with the Sarb 033 and the 035 being discontinued, I wanted to mention a Seiko watch that might be a little bit more unconventional or maybe overlooked a little bit. And that is the Seiko SPB 047 J1. So this watch comes in with a price point of $1,000, case size of 40.5 millimeters, powered by an automatic Seiko 6R15 movement and is water resistant up to 100 meters. I think this watch has a lot of versatility as well. And I think it has a very elegant looking design that I think a lot of watches in this price range really can't match. So next up, we have a brand that I've mentioned several times in the channel. I am the proud owner of one of their watches, the Maxville Chronoscope. And the brand of course is Young Hans. And the watch that I wanna look at here is one that I think is overlooked by many, but this watch here is the Meister Classic. This watch comes in with a price point of $1,000 to $1,500, case size of 38.4 millimeters, powered by an automatic J8202 movement that is an ETA based movement and is water resistant up to 30 meters. So when somebody thinks of Oris watches, they're probably thinking of their divers or of their pilot's watches. And for good reason, Oris is providing some of the best value in the entire industry. And for an independent brand who has remained independent since the 20th century, it's honestly really impressive. But instead what we're gonna be looking at is a dress piece from the brand and that is the Oris Artillier Date. So this watch comes in with a price point of $1,000 to $1,600, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic Oris 733, that is a Salita based movement and is water resistant up to 50 meters. Okay, for our next brand here, we have Nomos. And you have so many options in just the Nomos offering. I have the Nomos Orion on my wrist. It's honestly my go-to. But instead, I wanna look at a watch that I don't mention as much on the channel, and that is the Tangente. So the Tangente comes in with a very similar price point to the Nomos Orion. The really only fluctuation is going to be what particular uh, size that you get, as well as if you wanna get a Sapphire case back, which I would definitely recommend. I have that for my Orion and I love it. But price point here, $1,800 to around $2,500. I have a couple different case size options, 35 and 38 millimeters. I would definitely recommend the 35 millimeters for most people out there, uh, unless you have say about over seven and a half inch wrist, uh, as the lugs on these watches are rather long. So we're looking at around 44 millimeters from lug to lug from the height. So it wears much larger on the wrist for what the case size would actually indicate. For these watches, they are being powered by a Nomos Alpha manual movement, in-house movement, and then are water resistant up to 30 meters. Now we have another very overlooked watch from a brand that gets a lot of love from, I feel, younger people, and that is Tudor. But the watch we're gonna be looking at is the Tudor 1926. So these watches come in with a price point of $1,500 to $1,800, case size of 38 millimeters, and you also have a 41 millimeter option, powered by an ETA 2824-2, and then are water resistant up to 100 meters. I think these are some really clean looking watches. You have a bunch of different just variations and colors. So you go black, you can go silver, you have a really cool one with some blue numerals. Uh, so really interesting watch and one I don't see mentioned very often. All right, so for the last two watches, these are ones that I think definitely stretch probably the price point for most young professionals. But I do think if you have the means, say you're a little bit older in the spectrum that we laid out at the beginning of the video in terms of what defines a young professional, I think these are amazing options. And the first watch is the Omega Aquaterra 38 millimeters. So I chose the Aquaterra 38 primarily because I think it has the ability to be dressed up a little bit more instead of the larger case option. Uh, so we're looking at a $5,000 price point to $5,500, case size of 38 millimeters, powered by an Omega 8800 movement coming with that coaxial escapement, water resistant up to 150 meters. And I think the Aquaterra is probably one of the most underrated watches out there. And for our final watch here, we have the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 39 millimeters. So my personal favorite is the white dial Oyster Perpetual, very clean, could be worn in pretty much every scenario. Price point here, we're looking at $5,000 to $5,900 retail, case size of 39 millimeters, powered by an automatic 3132, and then is water resistant up to 100 meters. So guys, those are my choices here today. Of course, there are plenty of other brands out there, Certina, Longines,
Jean, Frederick Constant, Bomb and Mercier, who also create great watches and I think would be very suitable for young professionals. So please leave comments down below about other watches that should be considered by people that are watching this video. If you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon. And if you wanna get the most out of your watch, go over to the website, buy a watch strap. I put those watch straps up against any other straps in the industry at that price point and I'm really proud of them. So definitely go over there. They'll really help give your watch a totally different look without having to pay the price for a new one. Finally, if you want to enter the watch giveaway, fill out the watch giveaway form, go follow me on Instagram, announce a winner for the watch giveaway every single month. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.